Physiology and pathology content work together beautifully in Visible Body's newest app, and in this video, we're going to show you how. The content in the Physiology and Pathology app is divided up into five units. Each one contains a physiology section and a pathology section, with animations, illustrations, and 3D model tours. Say you want to learn more about asthma. In order to really understand the effects of that particular pathology on the respiratory system, you need to have an idea of how a healthy respiratory system functions. That's where the physiology lessons come in. For a general introduction to the organs and processes of the respiratory system, our first stop is the overview animation. This animation briefly discusses the key functions of the respiratory system, pulmonary ventilation and gas exchange, and how they occur in a healthy respiratory system. To look at the principal respiratory organs in more detail, let's follow the 3D respiratory tract tour. The info box gives a brief overview of the structures in each view. As you go, you can manipulate, annotate, and fade or hide structures just like in Human Anatomy Atlas. The 3D model in each view tells a piece of the story for a particular physiological process or pathology. Click on the arrows at the top of the info box to scroll between the different views. In the respiratory tract tour, you can see an overview of the principal respiratory organs, the lungs, the airways, the respiratory zones, and gas exchange in an alveolus. Breathing is the respiratory system's job day in and day out. The pulmonary ventilation animation shows how various muscles in the thorax and abdomen help the lungs to expand and contract, altering intrapulmonary volume and air pressure in the lungs during normal and forced inhalation and exhalation. The Respiratory Compliance 3D Tour shows how the different structures of the respiratory system are involved in maintaining open and functional airways. Now let's focus in on the airway defenses. The goal of these defenses is to protect the lung tissue from harmful particles in inhaled air. In healthy lungs, irritant receptors can cause bronchospasm or bronchoconstriction. Mucus is produced to trap unwanted particles, and cilia move the mucus towards the pharynx. So, let's compare the normal response of the airway defenses with what happens during an asthma attack. Asthma attacks are often triggered when the airway defenses come into contact with irritants and allergens such as pollen, pet dander, and dust. These particles, physical activity, or other environmental factors cause the airways to become irritated. This results in excess mucus production, which can lead to narrowing of the airways and edema, or fluid buildup. The smooth muscles lining the airways react to this irritation by contracting, causing bronchoconstriction. Together, the responses of the airway defenses lead to coughing, wheezing, and labored breathing. Pulmonary ventilation is impaired, and accessory muscles become involved in the body's attempt to supply itself with air. By looking at physiology and pathology side by side, we gain an understanding of both how the body works and what can happen when some of its functions break down. Learn more about pathologies by checking out Physiology and Pathology at VisibleBody.com.